I mean, did you see, like ever that? see her before? Yeah, but I don't think they were married then. They wasn't. They weren't married. She was his secretary or something. She was. She worked for him. Right. She I don't. Was, he. BG well, Nakai said they weren't even married when he passed. Oh, they weren't. That's said what? that she did something while he was on his deathbed, and they da, called da, and, all of her to be. And in they control. got married while he was in the hospital, about to pass. Now, that away. might be true. Wow, that's Tamika, crazy. Tamika Wright or Tamika Woods, she didn't know nobody. So when she came after he passed away, that's when we met this woman. We how, never, how long was he married to her? He wasn't married to her. Bro. So how did she get all, get all the rights? He, he just signed he, all his he rights. He on a respirator, bro. And sir, her and some lawyers and something went in there and did some stuff. I don't know. Really? Absolutely. I thought they was married. Nah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You, Easy E, they named the street after him since since me and you was on here together. Um, how big was that? And, you know, seeing him come up early in his career, like, um, what do you think he would have thought about people naming the street after him if he was here to even see it? He would probably try to play it off like it didn't mean nothing to him, but I think he would have really been just like, I think he, I think what he, because back then, I don't really, because he didn't, it's so sad he died young. He really didn't get to see the impact that he had on the world. You know what I'm saying? He knew he had an impact, but he didn't realize that his impact went all over the world. You know, you go to China, you go to Japan. You know what I'm saying? All of that. Um, there's a trip that you said that um, yesterday, before I left LA, they have a mural of all of them, when they were, and it's like their kids. Dre, him, Yella, and um, uh, who else is it? Maria? Yeah. And, it's a trip. Was Ice Cube it. on there? No, Ice Cube. I'm sorry, it's Ice Cube. No, it's Ice Cube, Yella, Easy E, and Is Dre. It five? Oh, it's four. I think of them. it's four. Just four. I think. Could be wrong, but I remember seeing four. And it was just a trip to see it. You know, just to think, these four or five black young men started a whole new genre of music, and on top of it, they got to be known from Compton and South Central. Los Angeles to be known all over the world. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I mean, you have leaders in in other nations. I'm pretty sure the Queen, Prince, Prince, they all listen to. They've all heard it. They've seen the movie. They've. You know what I'm saying? Was the movie accurate though? Because I talk with Danny Boy. Oh, wasn't, wasn't Danny Boy? No, well, I started. No, I, know, I talked to you, yeah, Danny, Danny Boy, Boy. You need to call me. I talked to Danny Boy, and I talked to. Um, Baby uh, BG you know, Knockout. BG yeah, Knockout. I'm thinking about what's his name. BG too, Knockout. Who was in the show. Um, um, we also talked to. Uh, um, but see, but no, see, no, Danny, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. What was the other guy's name? Shook, I gotta say his name. That was Shug Knight era. What was his name? Uh, the the boy that that, that the, was in the, the one that, that, that the one that was in straight out of Compton portrayed the one who Dre no Dre the one who Dre them had his damn it just almost came to me. The uh, one who had the studio Lawrence, in there. No, uh, oh, you're talking about, you're talking about, uh, you're Alonzo. Talking about Alonzo. 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 You know they're doing a documentary about Alonzo right now. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, he's opening up the club again. He is? Yeah, the Eve After Eve Dark. After dark. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's talk trying, about actually, it. Hey, look, if you see this, Alonzo, this is me, Deuce. I'm trying to do my gospel brunch at your place, man. So <laughs> if, you, if you see this, remember me. He's going to see it. Yeah, um, remember but, me. But trying I to just, do gospel brunch there. Me and him talk probably once or twice a month, but. Tell him, say, Deuce, he gonna be like, oh Lord, I, because they're, they're, re, they're fixing it up, and I wanna do something there. I think he good people though, he don't never get out of his element, he just who he is, and I love oh, yeah, that about yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, matter of fact, didn't, wasn't y'all there together when we did the last interview in LA? They were just probably no, passing no, I think each I, other. I think, no, yeah. Freeway. I think you oh, seen yeah, Freeway. freeway yeah. Shout out to Freeway Ricky, I just seen him again too when I was in LA. Yeah, I, and you know, it's a trip. I seen him. I, I was flying somewhere. That man go all He'd over. He'd be everywhere. I, I think I was, he just I, opened a dispensary out there. Oh, but no, no, no. I was like either in Connecticut or some crazy place, and he was there. <laughs> and I'm like, "What you doing here?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm doing so, you know." And you know what's so neat about him? He just being jeans. He nonchalant about all he that. He just stuff. made a jeans and like a, a just you know. Mm, he a, don't. A, he a not a into fashion at all like yeah, that. Yeah, he been like, that way his whole life and had so much money. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I go, this man is filthy rich, and he just. But but see, that's that teaches that's, us a lesson. They're teaching us a lesson. He All of us it. walking around with this. Oh, I got that diamond. He got that. You know, and then and the, so so he can probably eat wherever he want to eat. Oh, he's fly chilling. Where, that's why he fly. Fly wherever he want to fly. Wherever and highway you want to do it. Here we robbing Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, just so yeah. So we can look good uh, out <laughs> well, in public. 
I want to go back to uh, I want to go back to the the whole movie, the Danny Boy, all these people that was pretty much looking at that situation. Some people said that you know when I talked to uh, B B G Knockout, he said, "A, he don't feel like Easy E. He feel like he didn't die of just age. That that was some tampering that went on. He felt like it happened too fast." He says that he don't. He think that was some stuff went on. There was a lot of stuff being said. Of course, Should not even say, "Maybe stick a little bit of Easy in you, whatever." You know, um, what do you think about when Easy passed away? Um, that was a real sad time because I remember that, and I remember his wife. It was really sad for her because you know she used to be the secretary for him, and she was with him all that time, and she was, you know, she was she was down for him. You and you and BG Knockout tell a very different story because he says that she was I'm not. Sorry, he I'm says sorry. she she was not around uh, until after once he passed. Then they started to see it. They didn't really know him. These are guys that were directly yeah, in but, the but, mix but of but it. She was, so but, you might have seen her a new or different way than those guys did. Well, I mean, that's what that's what I thought. I mean, did you see, like ever that? see her before? Yeah, but I don't think they were married then. They wasn't. They weren't married. She was his secretary or something. She was she worked for him. Right. She I don't was, he BG no. Naka said they weren't even married when he passed. Oh, they weren't? That's said what? that she did something while he was on his deathbed and they da, called da, and, all of her to be and in they control. got married while he was in the hospital about to pass. Now, that away. might be true. Wow, that's Tamika, crazy. Tamika Wright or Tamika Woods, she didn't know nobody. So when she came after he passed away, that's when we met this woman. We how, never, how long was he married to her? He wasn't married to her, bro. So how did she get all, get all the rights? He, he just signed he, all his he rights. He on a respirator, bro. And sir, her and some lawyers and something went in there and did some stuff. I don't know. Really? Absolutely. I thought they was married. Nah. Because I do know that she was like his secretary or something. She was either secretary or something like that. She worked for him. Though. That's what, you know, allegedly we were talking. Yeah, no, she worked, but she worked for him. Because I, I remember, you know, talking to her and all that kind of stuff. So she did do either paperwork or she did stuff for him. Wow. I, but I, I, I was always in the assumption that she was a secretary of his. And they and that she'd always she had been there with him all that time. Just well, in the you know, movie, it shows him almost in a three, two or three bedroom brick house at the end that he downscaled from when you see him with uh uh what's that guy named the one you? Be honest, what, no, what's that guy name? Well, I, I can't tell you nothing about no, the movie. What's the what's the guy name? You, never you it? told me about the guy. Uh, what was the guy name? You Jamonzo? told me about no the one the white guy the Jewish guy. Oh, uh, Heller. Heller. Terry, Heller. Terry, Terry, we, Terry. we see him in, on Terry, a big yeah. party. Jerry, 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 Jerry Heller. is his nephew. Jerry and Terry. That's yeah, right. we sit him in a big house and then they downscales it at the end of the movie and the movie shows depicts him like he downgraded homes and like he was pretty much uh, had lost like a lot of stuff pretty much. When you seen him as he, was he still uh, from what I hear, according to BG Knockout, he was still you know doing well but the movie depicted him as he had downgraded yeah, homes. I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't going to lie to you. I didn't want to watch the movie. No, I'm talking about his home. I'm not no, talking no, about I mean, the movie. I didn't watch the movie. Okay, but I'm talking about his home. Did at the end did he now, seem at the to be? End, I, from what I understand, and I think his son, his son is out there. You know, little Easy is out there, and he he'll know more. But I thought he was doing the same. So from my, from what I understood, he was the same. Same. I mean, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but Easy didn't come from a poor background. You know, mm. Easy's family had money. Wow, I didn't know no, that. No, he didn't come from. You know, no, his, his family. He came from. They, they owned a house and everything. His mother and father were. They were. You know, a couple. You know, he wasn't. He didn't come from no broken home or nothing like that. He came from a good, good family, from Compton. A lot of people think Compton's like, oh, because Compton's bad. Compton got some nice homes. Compton got even horse trails. Compton, you know what I'm saying? I heard that. Yeah, Compton. Compton. You know, what made Compton bad was the people. Yeah. But if you look at the, you know, the uh, geography or whatever, look at the houses are nice. I mean, four bedroom, two bath homes, two car garages. You know. You don't see, I mean, it wasn't a lot of, like, in L.A., like, you know, having a lot of, you know, uh, what do you call them, uh, the tenements or uh, projects? You know, Compton, people, families own their own homes in Compton. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.